After Corey Schindler graduates, he has a job lined up as a seed production intern working with soybeans. He's ready, thanks in part to Professor Martha Mamo. I've actually learned a lot about soybeans in this class and like what they need for fertilizer nutrients, so this class has definitely been a big help. That's the kind of news Mamo likes to hear. When students go back and reflect on what they've learned and then realize how they can use that uh, knowledge they gained in the classroom in their job, that's uh, very gratifying. You would put in HCL. Innovative teaching methods and relevant research contribute to Mamo's success. She's uh, the epitome of a land-grant faculty member because she's excellent in her teaching as well as her research, her outreach, her international engagement, and meets the needs of our students in such an exceptional way. In class and as an advisor or mentor, Mamo has high expectations of her students. She provides a student-centered environment that encourages critical thinking. She's actually one of my favorites. She is difficult, <laughs> she, which is good. She pushes me to um, reach out and fill out applications and to actually push my boundaries instead of being comfortable. For her classes, MAMO has developed interactive computer modules. The National Science Foundation supports the development of several of MAMO's lessons that can be used alone or integrated into the classroom. The online material engages students. It's a platform and it's a resource that they are accustomed to, so it's not that difficult to integrate. Uh, with that said, though, you still have to have a good course design, a pedagogic approach to implementing technology in the classroom. Students benefit from MAMO's research in soil management. Her work extends from food security issues in Africa to the effect of grazing on nutrient cycling in the Nebraska Sandhills. Depending on, on the topic and the context, uh, I integrate what I have in research into my classroom. There should be lines for the potassium. As a child, Mamo lived in a region that set her on a path to agriculture. I grew up in Ethiopia. So uh, just like Nebraska, uh, the backbone of that country is agriculture. So um, being a developing country, I wanted a way to give back. In the lab and the classroom, Mamo tries to make a difference. We work for impact, whether it's teaching or research.